Monday in November, WMER 2 News will spotlight an unsolved missing persons case. And for today's case, we're examining the search to find a missing woman in Annapolis. Hopefully this story will lead to somebody stepping up. Police hope that you or someone you know will come forward with new clues. As WMAR 2 News, Mark Roper opens up the file on another case of missing in Maryland. The Anne Arundel County Police Department's Criminal Investigation Division here receives about 600 missing person reports a year. One of those cases involves a woman who disappeared more than a year and a half ago. 32-year-old Susan Lane was last seen around 12.30 in the morning of March 2nd, 2020 at this 24-hour McDonald's along West Street in Annapolis. She actually spoke with um, officers that night. Later on, early morning, her vehicle was located to the west at the Shell Station unoccupied. Anne Arundel County Police Detective Jay Schlein recalls how Susan's black BMW was parked in front of one of the gas station's pumps. The keys were in it, cell phone was in it, the door was ajar. Except Susan, the car's driver, was nowhere to be found. Employees there at the shell got suspicious when the vehicle, you know, had been there for a couple hours. So that's when they went to investigate, found a cell phone, called the cell phone or the the mother on the cell phone. Susan's mother contacted police and reported her daughter is missing. BMW, Detective Schlein demonstrates BMW. how police retrace Susan's last known steps, starting at the Annapolis McDonald's on West Street. But investigators don't know if Susan drove her own car to the Shell gas station or if someone else did. She lived out of her car and would sleep in various parking lots throughout this area. Okay, um, one of the areas that she seemed to sleep the most was behind giant food, a forest. Detectives passed out flyers and combed the surrounding area as part of the search for Susan. We checked uh, video cameras of around the giant. Um, we checked to see if they had active, active cameras uh, pointed in the direction of this parking lot here um, along a uh, forest on West Street where the vehicle was located. Crews also searched this wooded area where Detective Schlein points out many people who are homeless sleep in tents. With her being voluntarily homeless, you know, it lends itself to, you know, difficulty um, trying to locate friends and, and so forth because most of her associates or friends are also transient. So police armed dogs with GPS trackers to sniff out a path they hoped would lead them to where Susan disappeared. I'll take their GPS and I'll download it into the software. Their lines will come up and we'll see what area that they covered. Which is translated into a color-coded map that helps Detective Schlein keep track of where search crews have already looked and where he needs to send them next. You take the green section, task five. You take the red section, task three or what have you. These, you know, these searches can get pretty extensive, so it becomes a little overwhelming to look at. But even after four years of searching and no sign of Susan, Detective Schlein is not ready to call this a cold case just yet. It's still very active, so for me to say that it's a cold case, um, I, I can't put this in, you know, a cold case status. You know, I'm still talking to the family every, almost every day. While police hope someone will talk to them with the information they need to find Susan. So if anyone, you know, is familiar with Mrs. Lane, you know, she, she is, Certainly someone's daughter, loved one, family, and we're still actively searching and any help from the public would be greatly appreciated. In Millersville, Mark Roper, WMAR2 News.